So Purusha and Prakriti, another word of, another way of looking at the existence, the duality of existence, the consciousness and the manifestation. So in this tradition we say that the Shiva or the Shiva um, essence, which is also called the male essence, the Purusha essence, is the essence of consciousness. Non-moving, non-creating, non-doing, just there as consciousness. No attribute. This consciousness has no attributes. This consciousness cannot create the world as we feel, see, sense, experience. The consciousness is just there as Purusha, as a male being, so to say. So what makes then the world appear the way it is? It is the Shati, it is the manifestation of consciousness. It is the, the Devi, the Mother, the Shakti, which makes this, this world look, feel like the way it is. Yeah? So these are two ways. The, the male way is of non-doing, the female way is of creating of manifesting. That's another way of looking at this this duality. There are many sadhaks, there are many seekers who follow the path of consciousness alone. If you talk to them, they would say, everything is that consciousness. It feels a bit dry because there's no color, there's no dance, there's no ecstasy in that. Yeah. But then there are those who are the Worshipper of the Shakti, of the Divine Mother, there is dance, there is play, there is rang, there is color in that. Yeah. These are the beings who are not rejecting the world, who are embracing the world as it is, not rejecting it. Yeah. Purna, I, I call that as a Purna Sadhana. Purna means complete, total Sadhana, where you embrace the world of form also and then you also witness the world of formless at the same time. But you don't reject the one for the other. Mm -hmm.